Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and one of my all-time favourite shows is the story of Tracy Beaker. I just love all of the characters and episodes, and it was a perfect start to the Tracy Beaker franchise, which would later give us classics like Tracy Beaker Returns and The Dumping Ground. Recently, I've done my top 10 episodes of Tracy Beaker Returns and The Dumping Ground, which link in the description down below if you want to check them out. But today, I thought I'd finish the series by doing my list of my top 10 The Story of Tracy Beaker episodes, and I would love to hear your guys' top 10 in the comment section down below as well. But before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we make any brand new Tracy Beaker videos. <laughs> Before we start this list, I just want to clarify what is classed as an episode to me personally, as it can be kind of confusing with this show. Every episode is only 15 minutes long, so when airing, CBBC usually puts two episodes into one 30 minute long running time, which means the episode numbers can get a bit confusing. For context, I'm classing each episode as only the 15 minute part, so half of what you'd see on TV, and for the episode number and name, I'm using IMDB as to me, it's a reliable source. Now there is one exception to this, and that is if the two 15 minute parts together feel kind of like a two parter and could relate to one another. There are a few of these in the show and one does appear on this list, so I'm classing two parters as one episode. And this is just my opinion after all, so feel free to disagree with me. So coming into 10th place, we have series two, episode eight, big fight. This episode is just so funny because over the last two series, we've seen Tracy and Justine ruthlessly argue with each other. And in this episode, Elaine the Pain tries to make a stand against it. And her strategies are just so funny. She even asks Tracy and Justine to write 10 things nice about each other. And they're sitting there for hours as they just can't even think of one nice thing to say about each other. Then, just to get rid of Elaine, they sarcastically pretend to be friends, and you can see how much it kills both of them inside to do this, and it's just so funny to watch. Plus, the almost fight at the end between Bouncer and Ben is hilarious too. In ninth place, we have Series 2, Episode 15, Bridesmaid. There aren't many episodes in the early series that make you begin feeling sorry for Justine Littlewood. I mean, she's horrible to Tracy, why would you even begin to like her? But I think this is the first episode where you actually begin to. Justine is given a hideous bridesmaid dress for her father's wedding, and it just looks so bad. So the girls try and make it look better. In the process, however, ruining it, and everything just kind of goes wrong and bad, and you can just see Justine is trying to impress her dad, but nothing is working, and it just becomes so awkward and sad to watch. And this is the first episode where I actually began to like Justine as a character, and I loved the heart-to-heart -heart between her and Tracy at the end. Plus, Bouncer and LOL getting annoyed they're the only guys is just really funny. 8th place we have series 5 episode 15, Who Done It? We all love the game Cluedo, and this is basically the Dumping Grounds version of it, and I say that because Tracy Beaker isn't even in this episode. Elaine is hilariously iced all over, and Justine takes it on herself to work out who did it. And to be honest, I'm just a sucker for mysteries and inspections, seeing all of the alibis and motives of every character, and a hilarious scene where Rio has to face all of the potential weapons used in the crime. Unfortunately, the reveal of it being Alice isn't really the best, as I don't really care for her as a character, but the ending where Justine gets back at Shelley is so funny. In seventh place, we have series five, episode eight, Tracy's Fantasy. I've always seen this episode as kind of like a strange tester for Tracy Beaker Returns, as it sees Tracy as head care worker, Roxy as Elaine the Pain, which is just so ironically funny, and all of the adults like Elaine and Cam becoming care kids. Seeing Tracy struggle to deal with this is just so hilarious, and I love when the show does this alternative reality thing, which nowadays it never really does, which I've always found a shame. In 6th place we have Series 3 Episode 1, Leaving on a Jet Plane. I personally think this is the show's best opener, and these are the reasons why. You have Shelley, one of my favourite care workers, trying to make her mark in the care home, but just doing it all wrong by saying Tracy needs to leave. And, as we all know, you never mess with Tracy Beaker. 
I just love how all of the kids and adults, even Elaine, all go on strike and side with Tracy and go against the new coworker Shelley. It just shows how close all of these characters are, and this episode also introduces great friendships between Crash and Tracy, which I love. In fifth place, we have series one, episode two, Dares. It's just iconic, isn't it? It's in the books, it's mentioned when Justine returns and Tracy Beaker returns, and in My Mum Tracy Beaker, and this episode holds the famous eating a worm scene. That's all I really need to say, you get what I mean. Coming in fourth place is series four, episode 11, Testing Times. I just absolutely love this purely for Cam and Tracy's relationship. Tracy decides to test how well Cam is doing at being a foster mum by charting her progress on a Cam's progress chart and she just keeps on failing and it's so funny to watch. Then Cam decides to join in and do a progress chart for Tracy and by the end they're both on negative points and it's just a great episode to see how brilliant Cam and Tracy are together and how far they've came as foster mum and foster child. I just love these two characters together and I love how they get into these stupid arguments like this one. And meanwhile the dumping ground is also being inspected and the Wellards try to get it closed down. What could be better? Top 3 now and for bronze medal I have quite a weird one but after 2020 I just relate to it so much more and I'm sure you all do and it kind of just makes the episode way better for me. And that episode is series 1 episode 11 dumping ground virus. Of course, re-watching this in a pandemic really makes me relate to these characters way way more. Everyone in the dumping ground is ill and because of that Elaine has to look after them and when they start getting better they can't seem to get rid of her. So Tracy comes up with one of her famous Tracy Beaker plans to get rid of her and I just love the excitement of everyone when Tracy announces Safe to come out now, Elaine the pain has left the building! <laughs> And if you want to see a hilarious video on 2020 being told by the Tracy Beaker characters, you can do so by clicking on the card up there or there will be a link down below in the description. It involves clips from this scene to represent the pandemic and it's just a really funny video I've made. I'd love to see you guys go and check it out. Coming in second place, we have the two-part finale episode, series 5, episode 19, and episode 20, Moving On and The Wedding. I told you there'd be a two-parter in this, and this is it. I just have a guilty pleasure for great finales, and this is definitely one of them. I just love how it brings together everything we've loved about these characters, the dumping ground, and most importantly, Tracy and Cam's relationship over the past five series is all together in a happy ending. Seeing Tracy struggle with the thought of losing Cam to Gary, her heart to heart with Mike similar to the one at the end of Tracy Beaker Returns, Crash and Jackie being there for her, saying a final goodbye to Justine and leaving it on a good note with her, and finally Cam fully adopting Tracy. It just all makes me so happy and reminds me of why I absolutely love this show. I mean Tracy's reaction to hearing Cam adopting her is just priceless and I think it's one of Danny Harmer's strongest moments in this show. Unfortunately, lots of these have all been undone by future projects. Tracy Beaker returns undoing Cam and Gary's marriage and further undoing it in My Mum Tracy Beaker. Tracy and Justine re-fighting in Tracy Beaker returns and My Mum Tracy Beaker. And the most annoying for me personally being Mike's past revealed in the dumping ground of him being in care which kind of makes this heart to heart completely worthless now. But if we're just focusing on this show alone and how this was initially the end of the franchise I think it does it perfectly. And finally my number one episode of the story of Tracy Beaker is not even technically an episode but it is still very important and that is the movie of me. I'm classing it as an episode as it basically is essential to watch between series 3 and series 4 to understand the storyline. I just love this. Finally we get to meet Tracy's mum after the anticipation from the last three series is, and we see just how cruel and careless she can be. But yet Tracy still wants to be with her. Seeing Tracy being alone, Crash and Jackie running after her, Cam's heartbreaking moment when she realises she's lost Tracy, to eventually the happy ending of Cam re-fostering Tracy is just all amazing. 
Unfortunately, again, my mum Tracy Beaker has kind of ruined this film with Carly returning with no context. Honestly, my mum Tracy Beaker kind of just really annoys me now. But forgetting that, this is a perfect movie for this character, and I still think it's the best movie the franchise has ever done, which is why it takes the top spot of the best episode of the story of Tracy Beaker. But anyway guys, that's the end of this list, I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, let me know down in the comments what your top 10 episodes of the story of Tracy Beaker are. I'm really intrigued whether any of you guys have chosen similar episodes to me, or have you chosen completely different episodes? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments and what your just favourite moment and character is from this iconic show. And as always, we've been here on Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.